A tale of two question periods. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Well, Monday marked the first question period of the new parliament after the October 19th federal election. What parties decide they're going to quiz the government on, what they will push the government on, shows you where their values and their ideals lie. For the Conservatives, fresh out of the gate, Conservative leader, leader of the opposition, Rana Ambrose, deciding that she wanted to find out why the government was stepping back from the fight against ISIS as Canada's allies were stepping up. Mr. Speaker, last night, President Obama stated that airstrikes are a key pillar in the fight against ISIS. In the last week, we've seen the Obama, Obama administration, Germany, France and the UK step up their efforts and their airstrikes. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has ordered our CF-18s to stand down. Why is the Prime Minister stepping back from the fight when our allies are stepping up? Meanwhile, new Democratic Party leader Tom Mulcair decided he wanted to take a different tact. Progressives have long said that it's not terrorism, it's not the international jihadist movement that's the greatest threat to Western civilization, it's climate change, and yep, that is what Mulcair wanted to ask about. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to begin by congratulating the Prime Minister and by ensuring him that the NDP will be an opposition that will seek to help the government fulfill its promises to Canadians. But a lot of Canadians are disappointed that the Prime Minister brought along in his suitcase to Paris the plan and the targets of the previous Conservative government around greenhouse gases. Can the Prime Minister commit here today in 2016 greenhouse gas emissions in Canada will go down yes or no now when it came to Ambrose's question Trudeau would just bounce back that Canada is still doing plenty we're doing humanitarian assistance we're going to do training but we don't need our jets there with Mulcair it was much more of a love-in this shows the, the very distinctive paths the Conservatives are taking versus the Progressive parties in the House of Commons. And it also shows you that it's going to be an interesting four years with one party actually holding the government's feet to the fire on issues that matter to Canadians and the other one giving the Liberals a gentle back rub and telling them everything's going to be just fine.